Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick in the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Things are quiet tonight. No severe weather going on at this time, so looking very nice where our weather forecast tonight is concerned. A little bit on the cool side for this evening. Not exactly a problem from what we've seen across the Mid-South over the last couple of days. Yesterday, some 25 degrees below normal. Today, about 10 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday, but still below normal. And as we go into the course of the next couple of days beyond that, we will be getting back to those warmer temperatures. So that's some good news. Heading into the end of this next week could be the possibility of some stronger storms around Friday night into around Saturday. We'll be keeping a very close eye on that forecast into the course of the rest of the next several days. So definitely want to stay tuned to the weather experts for more information on that. If you've never visited us here before on our webcast, welcome to the show. This is Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog where you get to stop by and ask questions about the forecast. We cover East Arkansas, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, everything surrounding Memphis, Tennessee, and what we collectively call the Mid-South. If you've never tuned in again before, we try to give you more details about what the forecast is going on. You can catch it here in graphic format, here in text format, and all of this is available at wrhe.com slash weather. Drop your weather reports and or any locations out there. Let us know where you're checking in from. We'd love to know a little bit more about your location. Location. No mailing address is necessary. Just give us a general idea as to where you are for the, from the time being. A lot of people starting to check in from this evening. We'll get your weekend finished and get you started into next week as we take a look into overnight. We could see a few very light sprinkles left over in the next couple of hours. Northern parts of the viewing area only. The metro I-40 south of that, probably not catching much of anything else anytime soon. So good news on that for the time being. So as of right now, things are pretty quiet, but it will be a chilly evening coming up. No question about that. We do not have anything in the way of frost advisories in effect for tonight, so that's good news, but it is still going to be chilly for the kids when they get out to the bus stop in the morning. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s. Winds, fortunately, again, are going to be fairly light, so no major problems seen here, so good news on that at this point in time. We'll continue again to see some fairly mild conditions later during the week, but it's going to be a little bit on the cooler side out there next couple of days. Ole Miss campus, a lot of clouds overhead, the view of the student union, a lot of traffic going by in and out of campus for tonight from the Crosby Hall construction camp in and around Ole Miss, around Oxford, Mississippi for this evening, but good clear view there. Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely at its top of the hour animation and looking over the Mississippi River from Tom Lee Park. Again, not too much to show you in the way of visibility problems. Good quiet conditions there. Sycamore View looking back toward Witten on I-40, the flyover for tonight. Again, showing traffic on the heavy side as we go through Sunday evening, but otherwise no backup showing up uh, into the area for right there. Joel Krupe, hope I'm saying that right. Any frost predictions for the next week? Doesn't look like it for right now. Some pretty mild weather coming up into the next couple of days. We'll talk, take a look at the 7-10 uh, to 10 day forecast in just a little bit, but a preview of it down here looks pretty good for right now. No major problems out there. Jacks Creek, Tennessee. Beth Nash, not as chilly for this evening. Thank you very much uh, for that one, and thanks to everybody else uh, for checking in from the area for right now. Good warmer glade friend from Bolivar, Tennessee, Susan Burkeen. Okay, thank you very much for checking in and everybody else from the area for this evening. Storm Tracker 3S, nothing going on in the metro area. We have seen a few very light sprinkles back up around northwest Tennessee earlier this evening. All of that is now across the Tennessee River and heading into middle Tennessee, so not much of anything going on. This also is very light rainfall and several thousand feet up where the radar beam is detecting this. That's where the moisture is. The atmosphere has several different layers to it, different levels of dryness and moisture, different temperatures, different wind speeds going in different directions. So the radar catching this rain several thousand feet up. Meanwhile, down to the surface, it is very dry for this evening, so all that rain as it comes on down, maybe a couple of drops make their way down to the surface, but the rest of that stuff is just shredded by the atmosphere, and it evaporates on the way down, so not a lot is expected from this. Now, looking back to the north, yes, there's snow again, not for us. It's very light, and a lot of what we're looking at for right now 
<coughs> excuse me, is again going to be going back toward the east of us. So Columbia through Jeff City, southern Missouri, picking up some rain mixed with snow for tonight. And some of this tail area right here could drift its way into the Mid-South in about the next five to six hours. Sprinkles only, if that. Again, it's so dry down toward the surface that I'm just not really expecting to see too much of anything out there uh, into and around the area for right now. So that's going to be about as much as we can see uh, into the area for tonight. So definitely good news where it comes to rain fall. We could use a period of time to kind of dry things out by just a bit, and I think we're going to be running out and keeping the rainfall out of the picture for a little while at least off and on. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Temperatures right now haven't really gone too far in the last couple of hours. Upper 40s to around the lower 50s, so very pleasant. A little bit on the brisk side, but nowhere as chilly as it was yesterday, so definitely some good news uh, in tune around the area right now. Sharon Brassfield Walker, tell Mother Nature it's spring trying to get that, but apparently the emails are not getting through at this point in time, so I wish we could say that we'll be getting rid of that immediately, but uh, not going to be uh, going anytime soon, at least for tonight anyway. Palmer Densford, need this cold to be gone, messing with my sinuses. Yeah, I've been having some problems myself in the last couple of days, and people I know who get headaches at this time of the year, uh, migraines or otherwise, are having some decent problems with the changes taking place. So this, again, not exactly helping too much out there for the evening hours. Now, through the evening hours into tomorrow morning, running the numbers into tomorrow, right about the time Todd Demers is on the air with the forecast, the rain and the snow have gone well back to our north into and around Ohio, Indiana, and back into around portions of the Great Lakes. So we're not going to be seeing too much more moisture tonight. Some clouds drifting through the area as we go into early tomorrow morning. The kids at the bus stop, they're going to need to be bundled up because we're talking about some pretty chilly numbers out there tomorrow in the 30s once again. Warming up into the 40s by News Channel 3 live at 9. Picking up the kids from school tomorrow, much nicer. Lots of sunshine mixed with a few clouds, but mainly sun. Temperatures in the 50s and lower 60s. 60s, warmer than what we've seen in about two to three days across the Mid-South area. Kelly Nix Moore, thank you uh, for watching the show. Thanks for dropping on by. Cherie Sunshine, feeling awesome in Las Vegas. Is that uh, New Mexico or Nevada? Because I've been to the one in New Mexico, but not the one in Nevada. But thank you very much uh, for checking in. Shun Mitchell from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Savannah, Tennessee. Michelle Pendley Reynolds, thank you very much. And Cindy Lawrence from Wynn, Arkansas. Mary Oliver from Marion, Arkansas. Enjoying the updates. Glad to hear that. Thank you very much for dropping on by. Grady Bennett, 463 degrees, uh, clear around the Berclair Nutbush area. Thank you very much uh, for that. Through the rest of tomorrow and into tomorrow morning, or it should I say to on Tuesday morning, we may see again some lighter showers with another storm system barreling through north of us. And as this system goes through areas north of us, this counterclockwise rotating system going right through the area up here is going to drag down some cooler air. So we will see some slightly cooler temperatures in the forecast over the next couple of days. Now, again, isolated shower, not out of the question, but again, northwest Tennessee only, northeast Arkansas, southern Missouri, and we're talking about, again, less than 10% coverage chance. So just not really seeing all that much at this point in time in there. Through the rest of Monday looking good. Again, that second storm system, that little short wave of energy, as it's called, rolling through the atmosphere, is going to drag down some cooler air. So we may see a shower or two. Again, dry potential out there, not looking at all that much, less than 10% coverage chance, and back in the lower 60s for highs Monday, a little cooler on Tuesday. Then we finally start stepping on the accelerator, getting back to those warmer temperatures, pushing 70 by Wednesday. A few clouds mixed in with the sunshine, but otherwise looking pretty nice into and around the area for right now. Charles Edward Stanton sends some better weather up north. Milwaukee is cold. I'll bet it is, especially at this time of the year. I've felt some of those winds off of Lake Michigan and uh, not a time of year to be outdoors for fairly, fairly period, long periods of time out there at this point in time. Uh, Deborah Tolliver, ready to get the bad weather out of the way. Hello, uh, where are you? I am here in Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome to the show, and thanks for joining us here with News Channel 3 uh, for tonight. Rest of the week, very nice as we go toward Thursday and Friday, but here's where it starts to change again. Late Friday, especially after sunset and into early Sunday morning. That's the time frame for right now for our next significant weather maker coming through. The Storm Prediction Center has already started to draw the possibility of some severe weather for the Mid-South. Now, we do not have 
the forecast locked in just yet. We don't have anything in the way of marginal, slight, enhanced. We don't have forecasts like that until about three days out. So by the time we hit about Wednesday into Thursday, we'll know a lot more. So that's why you want to keep it tuned again to the weather experts for more details on this. But again, Friday night into Saturday morning, be prepared again to take some changes into the forecast for your plans as we see again that potential maybe for some severe weather coming back into the Mid-South, but at least we're not going to go too much farther down on the temperatures here. We may see some cooler numbers in the 30s by next Monday and Tuesday, but that's going to be about it. Really good news for those of you who are waiting until the last minute for tax day, 2018, the 15th is on Sunday. The, uh, again, or pardon me, around about Tuesday, that's going to be tax day coming up, if I'm not mistaken. So Friday the 13th, again, that could be a bit of a problem, but tax day does not look to be too much of a problem into and around the area. So good news, your 1040s at the post office doesn't look like they're going to be getting wet anytime soon. Two last meetings coming up for storm spotters activities in the Mid-South. Both of these are postponements from earlier during the year. This one from last week in Brighton, Tennessee at the Emergency Operations Center, and this one in Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. That's a postponement from back when we had winter weather going on. That'll be at Phillips Community College Bonner Student Center at Helena, West Helena, Wednesday, April 18th. This one on Tuesday in Brighton, Tennessee. These meetings teach you what you need to look for for severe weather. They are not chase courses. You do not learn how to chase storms with this, but this is a good place to start if you want to learn all about the atmosphere and how to get ready for severe weather. You do not chase storms unless you have been highly trained by experts. Period. End of sentence. It's just not safe to do so otherwise. So this is a good place to start here. Now, if you can't make these meetings, if you live in these areas and you can't get to them because of schedule conflicts, let me know because there's an online Skywarn Spotter course from the University Center for Atmospheric Research. And if you'd like to know more about that, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll keep you updated on that. We'll have an update on the complete forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Again, giving you an update for the rest of the morning and again into the evening hours coming up tomorrow. Could be some more showers. Join me with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live tomorrow morning on AM 730 for your complete News Channel 3 forecast and throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And I'll be on with with whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, it's our little salute to everybody on the home front and also to those serving overseas. If you'd like to see some of the weather at various military outposts, stay tuned for my next weather cast that'll be coming up at about 8.35 tonight. And of course, Todd Demers will have a bright and early forecast for you coming up tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll keep you updated again throughout the course of the rest of the evening, right on in through the rest of the week. And please remember again to keep track of this forecast as we keep you updated as what's going on with the possibility of weather in the Mid-South. It could be on the heavy side as we go into and around Friday, so stick around for more on that. And join me again on my Facebook page coming up at about 8.35 for weather where the troops are and another check of some of your weather pictures from around the Mid-South for the weekend. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick from the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and right on into next week on air and online.